Hey everybody, Tor here. And today me and Adam are going on a trip to Berks Falls to go see a place called the Screaming Heads, which is basically like an eccentric guy. I think he's a teacher. Yeah, he's a teacher. He like turned his house into a castle of some kind. And in the property surrounding his house castle, he has built a bunch of sculptures in the shape of ghosts and screaming heads and like apparently giant spiders and stuff. Um, I've never been there, but apparently it's really cool, so we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna now partake in the most important part of any road trip activity, and that is going to Tim Hortons. Welcome to Tim Hortons, this is Stephanie speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hi, could I get an extra large coffee with three milk and three Splenda, an extra large Earl Grey tea with two milk and two Splenda, and a chocolate glazed donut, please. Is that everything for today? Yes, please. 537, come on up. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Donut? Yeah. Make sure it's all right. We better let me have a little bite just to make sure. Nope. Make sure it's all right. It's all right. Baby, we're... Look at how much she ate. A little bite. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Woo! Now we can do anything. <laughs> yeah, now we got the go juice. Go juice! <laughs> we should just get sponsored by Tim Hortons, eh? Look at that parking job. <laughs> Woo! North Bay drivers. Yeah. Road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. She's got. Dragon. Probably park right here. Wow. There's a dragon. Don't miss. Whoa, holy Jesus. Wow. Cool. Holy. Yeah, I didn't even think of Look at the peacock. There's a peacock just walking around here. What? Oh, look at the white one. Yeah, oh my god. Like holy crap. <laughs> look at them. They're all over. Look at them. I wouldn't think that peacocks would like this cold. <laughs> They're so cool. There's a bathtub on the roof. There's two of them. This place is so cool. Yeah. Hey guys. I really like that white peacock. Oh! I think I found the rooster. Where is oh, he? Oh, I see him. He's down there. There's the rooster. Oh, look at the... All the chickens. And there's a, a white dove. Whoa. So look at all those pigeons. I guess I don't know if they're pigeons or doves or what. I guess they're doves. Look at those. I don't think we're supposed to climb on them though. What? Honk, honk. A goose and a gander. Oh no. Hi goose. Hi. Oh, he waved his butt at me. So we just kind of got to the Screaming Heads and I'm taking a look around. So far we've seen some peacocks and geese and doves and roosters and hens. And I'm inside of this weird structure. And uh, there's lots of cool things all around here. You see in the background there's things that look like jungle gyms. And big screaming heads and ghosts and hands and the house itself looks like a bit of a castle with a weird head holding its ears on top so it's badass. Look at all that, it's crazy. Can you imagine like how much time it took to build this stuff? Because some of these structures are massive. Some of them are just like really intricate. That almost looks like some kind of a drawbridge or something. You can play frolf. This looks like a weird Stonehenge. Just 
like an intricate network of web no in the trees. And who knows how long it is. And what's it meant for? Is it setting, building something? Or? Definitely should have worn gloves. My fingers are freezing, but I also don't really care because it's really cool. There's so much stuff to see here. Uh, I'm coming up on what kind of looks like a dinosaur egg made out of uh, rebar or something. This is massive. This must cost a fortune if it's weird. Very weird. I'm inside of the dinosaur egg. It's awesome. So this is all like random stuff in the bush. I think all that stuff in the bush is for when he has events here. I know I tried to come here once before and I couldn't because they were having a big concert and I didn't have a ticket to get in, but uh freezing so my hood's on, but it's definitely worth it. It's sort of like the occult meets like aliens. I think it's like inspired by druids, but there's also dragons. And I feel like you could spend all day here and still miss stuff because every time you walk past a path, that path is leading to something that you happen to glance at through the forest. So it really is a very, very unique experience. I'm really glad we came here today. Basically, I, I am very intrigued by this place. It's very, very cool. I actually just saw something moving in the bush. In my mind, I immediately was like, I think I just saw the Yeti. <laughs> just because there's so much weird stuff, weird things everywhere. So I'm just expecting to see something supernatural at any second. Yeah, it's so cool. Definitely, if you ever get the chance. If you're in the area around Brooks Falls in Ontario anytime, and you get the chance to go see the screaming heads, go. It's so cool. <laughs> the pyramid made of wood. So I'm about to get up close and personal with an actual screaming head right about now. heads are quite literally as far as the eye can see. I'd be totally down with living here because uh, he's got dragons. Creepy. Looks like death riding a steed with a sickle cutting off heads. You're in its mouth. I hope you don't get eaten by a ghost. Ghosts can't eat people. Oh! <laughs> You got eaten by a ghost. It's just like, oh, hi. And then that guy over there is like, hello. There's some more of these horse fellers. Look like guys riding horses, but the guys have no heads. So I guess this was the first one he made because it says the beginning. The beginning of the end. Ah! That's the pea hens. Female peacock. A bird. Donations. My hands are so cold, I can't feel what I'm doing. <laughs> Nice to you. And your name is? Wrong. Way onto YouTube if you're all right with that. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. Here's a scale map of the installation. Oh, this is about 15 feet right there, so it takes up about an acre. And it's the same spot I've been using every year. And yeah, well, and it has a purpose. It, it's, um, it's, I'm sort of doing experiments with it, energy. It sort of um, operates more in the spiritual realms than the physical realm. 
Uh, I think of it in terms of uh, spiritual technology. On Friday, I'm going to start taking readings. Like, and, I, and I did this on Harvest Fest a bit too. And I'd have people stand at different spots and ask them what kind of, like I'd clear the energy and ask them what kind of messages they might be getting. Because like there's different moods attached with different locations. That's sort of what I'm investigating with this. Yeah, and this is a net. This is a form I use in my artwork. And it's all about intention. So art is like whatever you want it to make, make it be. It can be that. What I think of this in terms of as in, uh, encoding consciousness. So I use it, I'm thinking of it in terms of a, an antenna. Something that can receive and transmit consciousness and, and store consciousness. Friday, uh, around this time, when it starts getting dark, it's a black light installation, so it's best seen at night. But I'm also gonna have music, and there's a fire, and I'm using, you know, middle of the Inn Castle here. Amazing place to come and see, and it's a really cool vibe here. My website is www.barff.com, B-A-R-F-F-F.com. PsyOps and ET Communications Division. Yep. We just finished out the Screaming Heads and we just got some Tim Hortons. Super cool to check out the Screaming Heads. We got to meet that artist and uh, we're probably going to come back and check out his art show next Friday. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the seeing the Screaming Heads and seeing sort of some of the local uh, art culture in my area. And if you ever get the chance to go and see it, I definitely suggest you check it out. Thanks for watching my video. You can check out my channel for some other local attraction videos and events. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.